And there is uh, the beautiful Tandy. Uh, Tumba is just off in the long grass. We can't see him at the moment. He, he moved off into there a little bit earlier, but here she is looking happy and full. And the remnants of the young kudu is up in the tree, safe from hyenas. They've eaten quite a lot of it. Of course, she's got a growing boy to feed. Uh, I'm just going to move around and let's just see if we can get a better view of Mr. Tamba. Where's that? Okay, there we go. But it's exciting. I haven't seen them. Have I seen them since I've been back from leave? No, I've tracked them a couple of times, but I haven't found them. Uh, quite nice when you've got leopards on a, a nice kudu kill because they're, they're going to be here for a day or two. Although I think mm, they'll maybe till they'll be here till tomorrow. Oh, let's see. I can't see them. I just saw a flick of a tail in the long grass, but no such luck. Okay, let's keep going round. Maybe we will get a view from the other side. Round and round the Pelter Forum with the dead kudu in it. Not the mulberry bush out here. Generally when we go round and round a bush, it's because there's a leopard kill in it. <coughs> so it's in a weeping wattle or a Pelter Forum. There we go. Maybe we'll be able to see a tumba from this side. There he is. How's that, Vim? There's Tandy, and there is the lazy Tumba. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the moving tail of Tandy. Lee Hugs is wondering, do smaller cats stash their food like leopards? Uh, certain species do sometimes, but it's, it's not too common. Um, normally with the smaller cats, their food is quite small, so they will eat it very quickly and then it's all gone so there's no need to stash oh there we got Tundi trying to bite flies you can see that little half hiss at the biting flies oh Tumba Tumba's got a full tummy and he is very much breathing heavily fast asleep his mom's doing a very good job providing for him now kirk you were wondering why they're breathing breathing so heavily well kirk it's uh, they died busy digesting kudu and digestion does create heat so the way big cats cool down is to pant so the heavier and faster they pant generally the more full they are or the more hot they are i'm just going to try and move i think back a little bit for vm so tandy is doesn't have a leaf in front of her how's that vm better there we go so she's done exceedingly well to get tumba to the sage he's 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 getting, oh, how old is he now? He must be Oh, there we go. Thank you. He was born in July. So nine months old. Getting close to that year, year mark. So once he gets to a year, that, that mortality rate for young leopards falls quite drastically.
Now he will normally stay with his mom until he's about 18 months to two years old. Tundi watching out for vultures or flying overhead, hoping they don't spot uh, that her kudu kill. Oh, her belly is so full she's getting uncomfortable. And she always will keep an eye out on uh, that that carcass. Always very, very aware of vultures and other scavengers. The flies seem to be bothering her quite a lot this morning. You can see she's got a broken bottom left canine, which is now obviously behind a blade of grass. There we go, you can see it there through the gap. And it is warming up quite quite quickly at the moment. Now, of course, for those of you who don't know, this is this is a one of Karula's of all Karula's first litter and uh, she's Shadow's sister. So the two largest territories that Karula borders are both of her daughters. Now, Tandy was said to be having a fight with a female leopard to the south of here uh, two days ago or so. Uh, most people seem to think it was Kuchava, who is uh, one of her adult offspring. And Kuchava might have been sneaking a little bit too far into the core of Tandy's territory. Could have also, of course, been uh, an unknown leopard coming in from the south. Jacqueline's wondering, what is a leopard's normal body temperature? If I remember correctly, it's very, very similar to ours. Um, and uh, the difference is, uh, if their body temperature raises by even just a degree or two, it can put them into uh, a very serious situation, uh, that they might even die. So when it's hot and when they're full, they'll try to do as little as possible. Isn't she gorgeous? Not the best sighting we've ever had of the beautiful Tandy. But it is quite late in the morning. Hopefully she will be... Hopefully she'll be up in the tree if someone comes here this afternoon. 